In a remote village in the province of Bulalacao in the island of Mindoro lives a Mangyan weaver by the name of Nanay Omeng. She is one of the oldest living mentors, knowledgeable on the ancient art of weaving amongst the Hanunoo Mangyan community. She recounts what it was like in the past and how the old method of weaving was done by their ancestors. First, the seeds are planted on their Sweden farms located within the vicinity of their homes. After three to four months, the cotton balls are ready to be harvested from the plants. Then, they are carded to remove the seeds and other impurities from the fibers. After gathering all the fibers, Nanay Oming puts them in a basket to lay out to dry under the sun. Soon, they are flattened and batted with two wooden sticks to pack the fibers together. Again and again, it is done until the texture becomes thick enough. The fibers are then rolled into the bark of a banana plant and tied together with a piece of cord. It is suspended in mid-air with a rod attached to it called pinuyo. While the weaver spins out fiber, it is pulled into a bobbin known as burungan. A metal head and a piece of wooden rod spin around to make the thread. The spinning is done on a piece of shell, also known as a berikan, filled with ash to prevent the bobbin from slipping. Fiber is eventually spread on bamboo poles and warped into four crossed bamboo beams known as padbadan to separate the fiber from sticking to one another and rolled into a ball of yarn. Finally, fibers are rolled into a skein called the bunang, ready to be put on the loom for weaving. The fiber is woven on a backstrap loom. The weaving process takes more than three weeks to finish and yields at least two and a half yards of fabric. This particular piece of fabric is used as a cape during courtship ceremonies when a man asks for a woman's hand in marriage. These customs and traditions have been passed on from several generations. The parents of the couple play a critical role in this ritual because they decide whether the couple can wed and have a life together or not. In present time, there have been a few changes in the process to which the fibers are made. There are new ways infused in developing their crafts, such as adding embroidery to the fabric. Using fibers spun and bought from commercial thread manufacturers, the ready-made yarns are woven on backstrap looms, cutting short the process of the weaving tradition and allowing an easier way to make fabric. Passing on the knowledge of the ancient art of weaving to the next generation and continuing its practice ensure the preservation of the cultural heritage of the Mangyan indigenous cultural communities.